Good afternoon, people of the internet. This vlog comes with a big disclaimer. If you're not interested in conservatories or solid roofs for conservatories or even construction, I suggest you just skip and wait till next week. This one's gonna be slightly different. Kind of a review. If you're not interested, just skip, keep going, wait till next week and I'll put something a bit more interesting on. If you are, however, interested in conservatories and solid roofs and construction and all that kind of stuff, you're in the right place. What I wanna talk about is back in April, May last year, we took the decision to invest in installing a solid roof to our conservatory. Now, when we moved into this house, we'd never lived in a house that had a conservatory uh, before. So we were kind of a little bit, I guess, unaware of uh, the problems that can be associated with having a conservatory. For example, the leaks, the cold, the noise, just generally don't look that great. So we quickly um, tried to find ways of how we could actually utilize this space in an efficient way, because it essentially, we didn't have a dining room, but in the winter, it was an absolute nightmare. You just couldn't come in here. Temperatures dropped to sort of one, two degrees. It just wasn't a usable room. So we really wanted to do something. We looked around at all sorts of different types of uh, roofs, replacing it with glass, different types of solid roofs. In the end, we settled for the Guardian warm roof. Now, for those that don't know, the Guardian warm roof is aluminium frame which has layers and layers of um, compact foam insulation locked between them with a little bit of space for, for airflow. On top you've got a waterproof membrane and then on top of that you've got aluminium tiles which are designed to sort of replicate ceramic tiles and then underneath you've got a plasterboard layer which can be painted and essentially it just looks like a normal roof on the inside. The difference being is that you've got a conservatory um, structure all the way around, as you can see in the background. Still kind of keep that open view. It's almost becomes less of a conservatory, more of a garden room. That's the kind of the way that we look at it anyway. In the end, we settled for the Guardian warm roof, partly because it felt like it had the most reputation in the market. There was a lot of um, credibility. The big question though, and the reason why we wanted to, to do the warm roof is obviously to keep the room warm. Is it warm now? Well. I'm going to show some footage of the installation process, I sort of vlogged it back then, but I never published it. So I'll show that to you um, first, then we'll get on to looking at whether or not the temperature um, is better now than what it was beforehand. So keep watching. So first of all, we started um, back in April and it was a company called August Windows who were based up in Manchester. They came down and they started the installation. This is how it went. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Today is a really exciting day something that we've been planning for a long time, pretty much actually since the day we moved into the house, which was two years ago, is to replace the conservatory roof. And today is that day. So here we are, this is the, uh, the conservatory, it's now completely empty. I mean, if you just look at that roof, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nasty. We're converting the roof, so this is, this is a polycarbonate roof and we're converting it to a solid tiled roof, which is provided by Guardian, Guardian Warm Roofs. It will um, actually make this room a bit more of a usable dining room, rather than um, basically for six months of the year not being able to use it at all. Come outside to, uh, to check out the roof. One of the nice features that we're gonna do is actually convert it from an Edwardian style, which is what it currently is, into a gable end. Um, so it go right to the way to the edge, and then it's gonna have a slight overhang with some um, underhung LEDs, which should look really nice at night. Time lapse rig, all set up. So here we are, the old roof's gone, and the new roof's going up. Got no roof. All this excitement has worn the cat out. And then from that point on, things went from bad to worse. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but we had quite a lot of problems with the team that originally came down. They kind of turned up late. They didn't really do a great job on the first couple of days. They left the room um, essentially not weatherproof. A lot of water on the floor, which wasn't an ideal situation. They also didn't install retaining beams in the middle. Fortunately, they did actually do a good job in the end. Um, they actually got a new team to come down. They rectified everything. Other issues we had, the, the apex glass, which you can see right there. First time it arrived, it was actually broken. It just left us without any glass in there for about three weeks, which is obviously just a massive 
um, draft. It was just a, a fabric waterproof membrane that was put over the top. I guess you could argue, you know, this was kind of the first big project. I say big, uh, the first project that we'd ever really taken on. So for us, it was kind of going into the unknown a little bit. I mean, you hear of some nightmare stories and it, it definitely wasn't a nightmare story, but it was stressful at the time. I should point out though that, you know, August windows, Yes, they had some teething issues, but they did rectify all of them. But sometimes you get a bad egg. Anyway, they sorted it out. It's all good in the end. Phase one of the roof is complete. Although by the time the old roof came off, the heavens then opened. So we had to work quite quickly. I say we, the uh, the roofers. I kind of just stayed indoors and didn't really do a huge amount. Yeah, a little bit of water came through, but we've got the uh, battens on um, and, and the foam insulation is in. The electrician came in and he's wired together two ends, one for the pendant light and then one for some external LEDs. Today we are hopefully gonna be getting the rest of the, the roof together. So there'll be an external membrane followed by tiles. That will make sure it's um, properly watertight. And we're also waiting for some um, braces, which you'll be able to see. Um, tie rod braces that they tie each of the beams together and keep it secure. Hopefully phase two will go well. So really after that, I didn't actually capture any more footage. I kind of just forgot and because I ran out of time and due to the delays of the project, I had to go back to work. This is what the conservatory looks like now. So hopefully you can see that there was a massive improvement in terms of aesthetics. You know, look and feel of the new conservatory roof is a massive improvement on the old one. I can categorically say that the noise when it rains, it's so quiet in here now. The original conservatory that came with the house has got a radiator, which we, you can see down here. And it's also got underfloor heating, which is obviously a massive benefit. However, typically the inside temperature with the old polycarbonate roof was only really about one degree more than the outside temperature. Even with the radiators on, the heat would just go straight up into the polycarbonate roof and then out. It was probably heating up more air outside than it was inside, not ideal. It is warmer, I guess the question is, how warm? So what we've done is we actually installed a thermometer. I say installed, we've got a thermometer. Let's go check it out. Just bear in mind that today it is the end of January. It's always gonna be a bit cooler. You know, a lot of heat does still get lost out through the windows. We actually installed the this carpet recently. Got that from Ikea, which is actually a massive help. It just takes the edge off, certainly when you've got a, a tiled floor. We have, don't really use the underfloor heating just because it's so expensive. Anyway, the digital thermometer, so the temperature outside is around about six or seven degrees today. The temperature inside, as you can see, it's 13.7 degrees, which isn't bad. Um, and typically it stays around 12, 13 degrees on average without having to do much in the way of heating this room. The lowest I've seen it since the roof has been installed was about six or seven degrees, which is obviously really cold. That was in the middle of the night and there was a heavy frost outside and obviously no heating for the best part of six hours prior. So back to the original question, yes is the, is the answer. Yes, it is warmer than a typical polycarbonate conservatory roof. How much warmer it is than say a glass roof? I couldn't really answer that because obviously we've never had a glass roof, but, and when I've been to other conservatories where they have had a glass roof when it rains, it is still noisy. Whereas this with the solid roof, you don't get any noise. It's super quiet. Now, the only other myth that I want to dispel here is when the original salesman came round, he said that you could potentially remove the sliding doors, these sliding doors, based on the temperature when it does drop to around about 10 degrees on average at night. If these sliding doors weren't here, that would be a lot of heat loss coming out of the main house 
into the conservatory and then out through the windows, which obviously we don't really want. I would argue that actually you shouldn't get rid of the patio doors. I also think that there's something in the regulations that um, stipulate you need to have an external door still fitted. One thing that we're considering is actually converting it into a bifold door just so that it can go completely flush and you've got more space to walk in and out, certainly in the summer. The other um, option that we're going to look to install are some blinds, some thermal blinds to the windows. A lot of heat goes out that way and also as you can see it's not a great view, it's just a fence. So once you've added in the cost of the roof, the cost of the bifold doors, the cost of the blinds, you, you are starting to get into extension territory. So there is an argument to say, actually, if you spent a little bit more, you could probably get an extension and then guarantee a, a, a warm room. But typically with an extension, you probably won't be able to get as many windows in. And if you wanted to maximize light, you'd probably want to put in some sort of skylight or an orangery style um, uh, glass into the ceiling. And at which point, when those kind of extensions, you are starting to creep up into some serious money, which we were just not prepared to go to. But what we can say is that the value of the house has increased. The roof will probably cover itself in cost by the time we come to sell the, the property. So to end this vlog and to answer the original question, are Guardian warm roofs worth it? I would say yes. However, it does depend on the circumstances that you have. First of all, do you have a heating source within the original conservatory? That's a big question. Secondly, have you considered um, putting blinds up for the windows because you're still going to lose a lot of heat out through the windows. Overall, we're really happy with this room. It's provided us with a much more usable dining room. In the summer, it's brilliant. Um, it's, you can push the table back, get people round, you have a big barbecue and, it, and it's just made it a much more um, homelier room that we can use and we kind of call it a dining room slash garden room the ceiling's lovely and also you know we, this this wooden table it's not going to warp when the heat of the summer and the, the cold in the winter something that we noticed in the summer was that the temperature is much better regulated with the polycarbonate roof it just used to get so hot back in the summer after the roof was installed the temperature just remained at a steady 20 degrees even in the real heat of the day so you can kind of come in in here chill out a little bit as you can see we've installed the sonos into the uh, the corners of the room compulsory wine rack so overall we're really happy with this roof um, I would recommend it if you've got an existing conservatory and you want something a bit more durable and a bit more usable um, throughout the year definitely worth it and it's definitely a cheaper option than going for a full-blown extension and it does add a bit of value to your house so definitely a win-win all around there if you are looking to go down the Guardian warm roof option I would definitely look to find a really reputable supplier it kind of just takes a lot of that pressure off definitely do your research that was that's probably be my main tip kind of goes without saying anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you've got any questions please comment in the box below um, please like subscribe as I said normal service will resume next week thanks for watching see you soon